Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adam, and my hobby is that I am a train spotter. Basically, to put it into better use of words, I am a rail enthusiast. I also enjoy going to different places by train. I am not on YouTube to make myself famous or to show off my popularity amongst competitors. I do these types of videos for basically fun. And if this show is going to go to plan or not, I guess you're going to have to watch this show to find out. Welcome to AP Trains' Real Life Railway Hello everyone, welcome to York Station. Now, I thought I'd do the introduction here at York Train Station because I didn't have time to do it at Grantham. Well, probably for two reasons. One, it was cold for a start, so I had to be in the waiting room the whole time. And there were a lot of people in there, so I couldn't do the introduction in the waiting room. And two, by the time I got out of the waiting room, my train was already here, so I thought I'd do it at York instead. So, we're here at York to meet GT Transport. He just came off that Azuma over there. And the time is 10.58. So what you're about to see was the stuff that happened beforehand. So I'm actually doing the intro after whatever I did. So what you're about to see is some footage that I took from York Minster, which is on the other side of those buildings. And then later on, once we spot at least a few dozen trains, we're going to head over to the National Railway Museum and have a look around there. Be aware, there may be some banter scenes, because me and GT Transport... <laughs> tend to have a lot of banter's times. Just checking whether he's around. I did tell him where I am. I'm on platform 5A and s platform 6. This is 5A and this over here is platform 6. Of course you've got 7, 9, 10 and 11. So, oh wait, oh. Got 158 coming in. Is it 6 or 7? Take your choice. Right, she's coming on six. Four, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven. I'm assuming she's either coming in from Leeds, Hull, or Blackpool. So, I'm going to catch that Azuma leaving, and we'll, we'll go from there. The commentary at the Minster will be, will be done in a, in a different way. Because the building is so echoey, everyone will be able to hear me. So I'm going to do it the different way, where there's no echo and stuff. Right, so let's get the Azuma leaving and we'll 
catch whatever that, whatever else comes up. While you're looking at the footage that I've taken from York Minster, I'm going to explain its history. The Cathedral and Metropolitan Church of St Peter in York, or more commonly known as York Minster, is the Cathedral of York in the United Kingdom and is one of the largest of its kind in Northern Europe. A Bishop of York was summoned to the Council of Arles in 314 indicating the presence of a Christian community in York at this time. However, archaeological evidence of Christianity in Roman York is limited. The first recorded church on the site was a wooden structure built hurriedly in 627 to provide a place to baptise Edwin, the King of Northumbria. Moves toward a more substantial building began in the decade of the 630s. A stone structure was completed in 637 by Oswald and was dedicated to St Peter. The church soon fell into disrepair and was dilapidated by 670 when St Wilfred ascended to the Sea of York. He repaired and renewed the structure the attached school and library were established and by the 8th century were some of the most substantial in Northern Europe. However, in 741, the church was destroyed in a fire. It was rebuilt as a more impressive structure containing 30 altars. The church and the entire area then passed through the hands of numerous invaders and its history is obscure until the 10th century. There was a series of Benedictine archbishops, including St. Oswald of Worcester, Wolfston and Aldred, who travelled to Westminster to crown William in 1066. Aldred died in 1069 and was buried in the church. The church was damaged in 1069 during William the Conqueror's harrying of the North. But the first Norman Archbishop, Thomas of Bayeux, arriving in 1070, organised repairs. The Danes destroyed the church in 1075, but it was again rebuilt from 1080. Built in the Norman style, it was 111 metres or 364.173 feet long and rendering in white and red lines. The chapter house was begun in the 1260s and was completed before 1296. The wide nave was constructed from the 1280s on the Norman foundations. The outer roof was completed in the 1330s, but the vaulting was not finished until 1360. Construction then moved on to the eastern arm and chapels with the last Norman structure, the choir, being demolished in the 1390s. Work here finished around 1405, but in 1407 the central tower collapsed, the piers were then reinforced and a new tower was built from 1420. The western towers were added between 1433 and 1472 and the cathedral was declared complete and consecrated in 1472.
I've spotted him. I see you there. Might as well come along. I guess he's talking to his fans. Uh, looks like he's coming this way. The train now arriving at platform six or five, whatever you want to call it, is Mr. GT Transport in the Northeast and York. Here he comes. Who are you? GT Transport. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you GT Transport from Newcastle, Tyne and Weir. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Seven ninety. Seven seventy is from East Midlands. Well, not for much longer. Good. Well, I am, and I'll send it to your Facebook, don't worry. Don't! <laughs> I'm not videoing that terrible company! Don't you dare get in my shot! Stop being mean to Transpernine, he did nothing to you! Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you dare! Or I'll walk in front of your shot of that 158. Country Voyager coming into York Station and there's GT Transport. I don't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so called impersonating. This train has two, four two, carriages. Three. Two, two, all, all 20 is free. You can read. Well done. It's probably Newcastle for all I know. Oh yeah, that's your train. No, it's not. I'm not going right now. <laughs> I'm going to be here for the rest of the day. Train's not until like five. Six. It is big forehead. Uh, shut up. Do I have a big forehead? Of course I don't. Why is it arriving on six? It's terminating. Oh, okay. Terminating to be five. Nice one, one seventeen. Rest in peace, one seventeen. Oh, 
I hope you get put in a good place. Is it long enough for the 225? Yes, it is. It can fit a 225. Do I have a go big away. forehead? Go away. Go away. No. Shut up. Are you trying to kill my ears or stomach? Oi, that's my line. Not anymore, it's not. No, it's my line. End of story. Your crew, you can get in there. From King's Cross, Station London. Bedford, Doncaster, and York. Change at York for services to Edinburgh. I never knew York services. Stop. This won't be a sight in a few years' time because all these two three fives will be gone. And it'll just be as zoomers in probably some HSTs. I'm pretty sure they just. HSTs are staying for the next five years. HSTs are staying. Just keep coming on in. Go away, 206. What's wrong with it? What do you think? Of course it is. 43206. Go on, Gordon. The next one. Calling it Darlington, Newcastle, Carlisle, Edinburgh, Haymarket, Falkirk, Grahamston, Stirling, Glen Eagles, Perth, Pidlochy, Kingussie, Aviemore, and Inverness. Yes. Stand behind the yellow line. Well, this guy doesn't know what on earth a yellow line is. Well, that's his own life being put at risk. Stand behind the yellow line. Found here of TF Delina Bui. That was horrible. The train now approaching platform three is not for public use. Please stand well away from the platform edge. It's for well, it kind of well it departed from four. Scarborough Liverpool Lime Street. It was supposed to stop on three, unless it really wanted to. Get away from my uh, that's the reason. It's a red signal.
Grantham, Peterborough, Stevenage and Ridge London Ridge King's, Ridge Cross. King's Cross. This train has nine carriages. Does it now? Oh, yeah, there's a 105 coming in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, goody, goody, goody. goody. King's Cross. Or as I call it, King's for short. London King's X. 203 to London. Friendly drivers out here. And here comes GT Transport's worst nightmare. A class 185 at Transpennine. I've been on Transpennine, good service. I'm gonna get that 185 through the windows. There it is. Probably for the last time, nice one with 17 West Riding Limited. There's your 150, 123, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> you can stop now. To Beeple North. Someone tell me where Beeple is. <laughs> 158123 to Beeple North. Where's that? It's short for black. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Oh, Gareth. Afraid of a 185. <laughs> One eight five one two nine to North Shields. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> take the thumbs up. No, take the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Here we have eighty seven double oh one. And I call this the roleplay train. You have to watch a video on DB Trains' channel and then you'll get what I mean. Yeah. 
Now going inside the model railway. Yep, it is neat. Say that again. Model railway. Arkham, model Arkham railway. Station. Model railway in the NRM. Yep. There are moving trains in it. just had one go in the tunnel just earlier. One of them should be there. And one there would be a carriage. Arkham Station. Don't know if it's a real life place or not. If it is, it might be either closed or preserved. There should be a train coming on. There's one over there. There's one over there. It comes out at the top of that. It goes up to the ground. Oh, gotta get it, gotta get it. It's there. There it is. Oh, that's true. Is it even mini a train? Is it a green one? Yeah, he just goes up there and then turns back again. No, he just goes back. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, Smiley Face Express. Smiley Face Express from Roblox. Has it got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? What 52 number is that? It's D10. I can't read it. It says Western Kins. It's probably 52 or 20. There's a steam one there, pulling some wagons. One just went in the tunnel over there. Yeah. There's a 52 down there. Yep. Yeah. There's a smiley face express train. <laughs> Not the correct carriages, but oh well. At least there's a 52. Well, let's move on then. Done it. Here's right. Stevenson's rocket. Well done for photo bombing me. What controls has it got? Please don't Not come many. Up. Firebox and the rest. Where are all the dials, the speedometer and all that? I bet they didn't exist. Here we see Mallard, 4468. Of course, I'm being joined by Avery Stranger again because he's joining me for this day out in York. Hi. Was it me who came up with the idea or was it you? To, to meet I Avery? don't even know. Oh, it was you. Yeah, because you said you were going to York and then I thought, oh, I'm going to tag along. Hmm. There was you. There's the 802 sat on. There's the Minster. What platform is that for? It's for, oh, yeah. Coming. Bye, hello. Something HST. Coming. HST. Four one twenty, four one one fifty, four zero seven four eight, four two two fifteen, four two zero ninety one, four two one fifty, four two one five four, four four zero nine four, and forty three thirty eight National Railway Museum, the King's Cross. A big forehead? No. There's the 802 over there. Number five carriages. Oh, here comes a 185. Here's your favourite. I am filming Sup. 185, 144, Newcastle. 185, 144, Newcastle.
mine. Now we've seen yours. There's a two two five set down there as well. For some reason, the Destiny Bolts say Birdie Park to reduce the amount of people. 174, 78. 174, 78, terminating the lead. The odds is not in service. It says York, so it is in service. 174, 78 for Norman. <laughs> Seats was hit at Bird. I've never ever caught this. Now you have. What number is it? 43. Uh, 4362. 4362. And it'll be either 4314 or 13 on the rear. We've got 158. 4362 to 4314. Or 13. Could be either. Uh, or 13. Uh, is it going to be 13 or 14? 14. It's 14. 4314. It's on its way to Heaton Depot, which is next to a metro station. So I'll be on the other line. 158 coming in as well. Coming in from Leeds, Hull or Blackpool. I've got on my way to my nearest depot.
please stand well away from the platform edge. Yeah, they're in service. Number three set to Scarborough. We've got number three set and 6027 to Scarborough. We're currently at York Station, time now is 15.34 and I am now waiting on platform Huech, or platform 6 which is that one behind me to wait for the 16.02 to London King's Cross which is my train back to Grantham. So we'll wait until she turns up. I'm now back at home. Now, the day I had was getting beyond the speechless point. Well, I'm being serious. I, I can't think of a possible sentence to say right now. Because... <sighs> You get the point, don't you? I'm just left speechless. I can't really say anything. I can't really find a word to describe what kind of day I had. And it's all thanks to you, GT Transport. Well done for making me speechless. Because right now, as I speak, there's a pickaxe mining inside of my brain trying to dig out a word that I could possibly use to describe the day. But it's failed. But what I can say are some sentences to, to, to summarise the day. So we started off at Grantham, as usual. We took a LNER Azuma up to York. It was doing a local early morning London to Edinburgh service. And it was going via Carlisle because the line between Newcastle and Berwick, I think. Newcastle and Berwick is shut. The bit... Um, what's the words? The B 
bit at Dunbar, I don't think is affected. I'm not sure, but LNER services are going via Carlisle because the line between Newcastle and Berwick is shut, probably because of engineering works. So I have no clue because I'm not an expert on these types of things. Even though I am a rail enthusiast, but with people like me, the last thing I want to do is to predict why certain lines are shut. Because then the next thing, I get recorrections by certain people. But anyways, I took a ride on a LNER Zoom up to York on the local early morning Edinburgh service. I had approximately two hours to wait before GT Transport arrived on the LNER Azuma. So while I still had those two hours, I went into the city centre, had a look around York Minster. Surprisingly, the bells were ringing, all 12 of them, probably because of some practice for a Sunday service. Could be. Get out of the way, fly. Yeah, my, my house is infested with flies and I'm trying my best to get rid of them. But they just keep on coming every now and again. But anyways, we're not talking about flies, we're talking about trains and the day. So, yeah, surprisingly, all all 12 of the bells at York Minster were ringing. I wasn't expecting that. Well, it was a Saturday, so I suppose they were practising for Sunday. Then, when I got back to the train station, I went over to Platform 5A and 6... Spot some trains there before GT Transport arrived. We spotted some trains at the station. We went over to the National Railway Museum to have a look around. We even spot a steam train. Well, no, that's not the proper name, is it? It's a tank engine, actually. Go away! Right. Yeah, it was a tank engine pulling a... But I believe it was a breakdown van. It's used on old fashioned freight trains back in the earlier days of railways. Uh, yeah, then after we had a look around at the National Rail Museum, went back to the train station, did some more filming, managed to catch the, um, the new Novia stock which was a 68 and mark 5 carriages don't even ask what the what type of novia set it was because i have no clue what type it was but what i do know it's formed of a 68 and five mark 5 coaches and i also saw the class 802 which was on test it was doing tests along the scarborough line Well, not just the Scarborough line, because in the end it went to electric mode, so it probably went further up north, for all I know. Uh, we caught a steam charter, which was 34-0-something. I can't remember the number, but it was a steam train, and it had a nameplate. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember what the number was. It was 340 something or 01 something. Or it could be something else for that matter. And a 47 at the back as well, in case the steam train did break down in the unlikely event of that happening. Caught the flying banana as well. I wasn't expecting her to make an appearance. She was doing, I think, a Derby RTC to Heaton service. Heaton up in Newcastle. Then, after spotting a lot of trains at York Station, hopped on a LNER Azuma back to Grantham. Well, GT Transport on the other hand, he got an HST back to Newcastle. 
So I guess I'm stuck with the new trains from now on. Well, most of the people I know, they take new trains back down. No, that's not the word to use. They take the new trains down to their spot in location. And they take the old trains back up. Or down, depending on which where they come from. So it's new train up, old train down. Depends whether they, where, wherever they're coming from. And so here we are. Did the summary. So the next uh, real live video is not yet confirmed. But I will say it further on a Roblox sized railway journeys video because then from there I'd have the information or at least talking of Roblox sized railway journey the next Roblox sized railway journey is going to be next weekend or I might make it tomorrow but I won't upload it until sometime in the weekend because then throughout the week I'd have enough time to make the video, edit it all up, and put it up on the channel. So, you all know what to do right now. Well, everything apart from listening to my clock chiming. But anyways, you, know, you all know what to do right now. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, join my Discord server, which is the AB Transfans Discord server. An updated link to it will be in the description, because I have some people... Saying that the links that I put in the description to my Discord are outdated. I don't know. I do not know why. I've set the thing to never expire, but it turns out it it just expires anyway. And also follow me on Roblox on my two accounts: Adam TJ two thousand three and AB Trace YT. My Adam TJ two thousand three account is for driving when it comes to. Being on trade related games and the AB Trace YT account is for spotting. Now you know why I have two accounts. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next weekend for the Roblox Size Railway Journeys, which is. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not a cough, by the way. It's. Basically heading back to County Stepford via a few more stations that I need to do in County Gothlin. Because I'm aiming to complete the whole of GCR before heading back to SCR. So that's what I'm aiming to do. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.